Hey everyone, Matt Morris here with another episode of The Unemployed Millionaire Show, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Lifestyle Freedom. It is the middle of January here and hopefully you've had a chance to, you know, set your New Year's goals. I, one of the things that I love about New Year's is just, you know, starting fresh, being able to figure out exactly what I want to go after for the year. So I'm going to share with you what I go through personally uh, every single year. I've done this for probably seven or eight years now and I believe it's one of the reasons why I've been able to achieve some of the things that I have over the last few years is just kind of setting my you know, personal business plan for the year. You know, so many people just kind of go through life uh, wandering aimlessly. They never set a plan, and so they never get where, they're, they're, where they really want to go. And so I'm here in front of a gigantic whiteboard, which um, if you're crazy like me, you just love huge whiteboards. So I'm going to kind of share with you what I go through, and I set goals in a few different areas, and if you read my book, you know that I have one of the chapters is goal setting is for losers, and the fact is, most people, there's a lot of people who go through goals, and they set goal after goal after goal, and they never achieve any of the goals that they ever set, so I'm going to share with you kind of what I do that's been responsible for having some success, so I'm going to impress you with my penmanship here, uh, and kind of show you the different categories of goals that I, I I go through here. So the first one is business and finance. So basically, you know, what I'm looking to do with my business and what I'm, how much money I'm looking to earn. And I kind of lump those together. So that's one. The other one is health and fitness. So you can have all the money in the world, but if you don't have the vitality to enjoy the money to travel all around the world and you know go surfing and kite surfing and bungee jumping and all that, you don't really have anything. So health and fitness, very, very important. And then I also have personal goals. Now, personal goals, I uh, have a few different things there. One is relationship goals. So uh, you know, my wife Rhonda, I'll set some goals uh, of what I want our relationship, how I want that relationship to grow. Uh, we'll set goals for our daughter daughter who is uh, just turned a year old, so we'll set some goals for her. I also set fun goals, so I have my bucket list, and uh, if you've read the book, you know one of the uh, exercises is to create 100 things that you want to do in your lifetime, your lifetime dream list. So uh, every year I write down some things, uh, some goals of some of those that I want to achieve. And then one of the other ones that I do is learning and growth. So these are basically, kind of goes back to the philosophy in the book of becoming an expert. If you are in sales, you know, the way to really succeed in sales is to become an expert in sales. If you want to excel in internet marketing, become an expert in internet marketing. Um, and so I set learning and growth goals. I think that's just paramount for achieving what you want to achieve. So um, those are the, kind of the four different categories that I set. And here's how I set the goal. Now, the first thing that I do is I have a sheet of paper and I break this out. I have a carry a Franklin planner with me back in just a second where I, uh, I actually keep my goals, um, you know, at the front of my planner and the sheets, the way the sheets look and they have, you know, custom goal setting sheets in there and it's kind of broken into a few different areas. And so the middle area, is your goal and the thing about setting your goal is to be very specific in your goal and the other thing is and why I say goal setting is for losers here's the thing is you know what's more powerful than the conscious mind is your subconscious mind and everything that you say every thought every word every action is an entry into your subconscious your subconscious creates your identity creates the vision for your life and so um, when you write a goal that says, my goal is to earn a million dollars, what you're saying to your subconscious mind is, I don't have a million dollars. And so you repeat this goal, and some of the trainers say, you know, repeat your goal, uh, you know, five times a day or three times a day, morning, noon, and night. And so you're reaffirming every time you read that goal that you don't have it. And so you build a weak identity. And so what I do in my goal setting is I state that in the affirmative. And so um, you know, that goal would be, I am a millionaire. And so the other thing about a goal is you want to have a spe very specific goal and have a specific date by which you are committed to having it. So it's, I am a millionaire on this date. 
And so every time you read that goal to yourself, you're affirming the fact that you already are a millionaire. You're speaking that into existence. And so um, write your goal very specific. If your goal is to earn a full-time income through internet marketing, for all your subconscious knows is you want to earn a full-time income at the poverty level 10 years from now. And so be very specific on exactly what that goal is and state it in the affirmative. Now, as important as the goal, is your why. And this is really your purpose behind the goal. And the question that I ask myself, and I continually ask myself over and over and over, is why is achieving this goal a must in my life? So why is achieving this goal a must in my life? And so, you know, for me, you know, becoming a millionaire, one of the reasons why I wanted to become a millionaire and have time freedom and money freedom was my why, my burning purpose in life. And that was really simple. I've had it for years and years, and this is my driver. It's that I personally am committed to world schooling my children. And basically what that means is instead of you know, having my children learn history out of history books, I'm gonna take them to the places in the world, we're gonna hire the best teacher money can buy to, you know, travel with us and educate our children. So we're gonna teach our kids history in the places in the world where the history actually happened. They're gonna to get to see the world. We'll go, we'll go to Italy for you know, three months and we'll learn Italian. We'll go to France for a few months and we'll learn French uh, and just travel all around the world. I am committed to my children experiencing that. That burns inside my gut so much every day. Every time I look at that purpose, uh, it reaffirms my commitment. So figure out why your goal is a must. So that's the why. And then the third part of the goal is where the rubber meets the road. This is your action plan. And so this is basically everything that you are committed to doing to have the goal. And so, you know, here's the bottom line. The truth is you're going to have to give something up in order to have what you really want. And so, you know, personally, I have a work hard, play hard attitude. And so I'll work as hard as I possibly can for, you know, two or three weeks. And then I'll go take a vacation for four or five days. In fact, uh, we're just headed out. Uh, here in just a few days to Cancun. I'll be sure and record a video there. But uh, that's your action plan. That's everything exactly that you're going to do to have the goal. And so it's January. Go ahead and set these. Set your business and financial goals. Set your health and fitness goals. Set your personal goals. Set your learning and growth goals. What are you committed to mastering this year that's going to allow you to achieve the life that you really want to live? So go ahead and set those goals and feel free to comment in the blog section and let me know what some of your goals are for 2010. And if I see any of those that I may be able to help you with, I'll certainly reply to your comments. So thanks so much. See you on the next episode.